very random day <clears throat> and video real quick, but okay, so I was watching my friend's Instagram stories yesterday and she was in like the most beautiful field of flowers. And in San Diego, we've had a shit ton of rain. So the flowers and the desert and everything are gonna be epic. So I asked her, I'm like, where is this place? So this is the picture of her son in this beautiful field. And I'm like, um, I need to go take photos there. So she tells me it's like right near her house. So we're gonna go today, just totally impromptu. Nick's one day off between working three more days and get a picture and I real get pictures. I realize that we haven't taken a single, I don't think we've had a single like family photo shoot with like a professional camera since Harlow was born. Well, we did the newborn one, but she's eight months old now. She's gonna be nine months this week. And we still don't have any photos as a family. So we're gonna do that today. Um, I'm about to put some makeup on. I think I'm gonna do, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do in a second, but. <clears throat> Um, I've been kind of picking out some outfits here. I think I'm going to do like, I think we're going to bring the Bronco, do some like cute little Levi's jeans, put some little flowers in my pocket. And then I've got this, I think this is Billabong, like a little kind of dress. It's going to be like 50 something degrees, so it's not going to be warm or anything, but at least we can make it look, look like it's going to be warm. Are you just so excited? <laughs> You're fine, actually, in that. That'll match. That works. That was my plan. Cool. Are you on Instagram or TikTok? Oh, you don't have TikTok, huh? Never had any will. There's some pretty funny videos on there, though, that you might be missing out on. I try to send you, but then you're like, I can't see it on TikTok. So, yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do for little outfits. And I got to find something for Harlow to wear. Let's see. Watch out, Rocket. Okay, so recently I bought this little, oh my gosh, I gotta show Nick these. He hasn't seen this. Um, recently I bought her this little bubble romper that has some orange in it right here. I guess there's a theme going on, dinosaurs. These are both from Amazon. I can link you guys if you want. But I bought this on Amazon. It's like a bubble romper is what they call it. And I hope it's still gonna fit her, but I thought this would look so cute in the little field of flowers. It did come with a matching bow, and I don't know where it is. Hmm. This would be kind of cute, too. This little guy. So, yeah, we got, we've got some options I will bring. I need some bows that fit her head, because all the bows that I actually have are really small. Like, this is just hideous. And then, I gotta get rid of that. And then, like, all of these are just really small. This actually is from the hospital. Holy shit. That will not, that didn't even fit her head in the hospital, huh? These newborn hats? Didn't even fit her head in the hospital. Mm. I don't think it did. Yeah. yeah. She had a, she got a big old head. <laughs> okay, so there's two outfits that I got on Amazon that I didn't show you, babe. Look at these. They're so cute. You're going to love them. So this is one that I thought would be cute. Here, hold the other shoulder. I thought this one would be cute. It's like a little bubble romper, like with the orange flowers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Um, I wish I had like little fluffy socks for her with like little frilly socks. That'd be really cute. And then I got this one in the mail. This is gonna be a minute until she can fit into this one. It's hard to tell sizes on there, but look how cute this is. The dinosaur has got like the little it's very warm. little ruffles. It's 53 degrees outside in Ramona. No, I, well I know, but no, I mean like this is gonna be very warm, which yeah. is good. But it might be summertime when she fits into it. I know. Maybe I should exchange it for a smaller size. It's hard to tell on there. Cause she's been fitting into 12 to 18 months and this is 12 to 18 months, but this is bigger than most of them. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll return that one. We'll see. <clears throat> Hopefully she still fits in this one. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what we're going to be wearing. So I've been liking the gel on my toes, by the way. I don't know if you guys watched, I did like a, like a nail, tutorial or a nail a nail what am I trying to say right now I did a nail before and after reel on my Instagram story and I was like oh no it wasn't a vlog it was a, what did I eat in a day vlog and I got my nails done and I was like I'm doing gel I need to put this on a tripod I was like I'm doing gel um and so hang on I'm gonna put this on a fucking tripod 
hopefully we can get some good pictures. I um think it's so pretty. Like we haven't got, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, have we seriously not taken like, cause we were planning on taking some family photos in Nashville and then the girl who I was gonna hire to do our photos, cause like my, my dad was there, my stepmom was there, everyone was there. And I was like, this would be a really good time to like freshen up our photos because the photos that are in my parents' house still has my ex-husband in them. So, shh, but we need to, <coughs> we need to manage that. Okay, so since we're gonna bring the Bronco, I thought we might do like a little bit of teal underneath the eyes. So I think I'm gonna dip into this bad boy. You guys remember my collection with Urban Decay? Um, we're gonna go in with LCW, I think, on the bottom. I think that would look really pretty. Can you believe I haven't hit pan on that? Honestly, I've just been afraid to use it. So, all right, I'm gonna go back to watching Taylor Wynn on YouTube <laughs> and do my makeup. The internet. That's my little. really like this eyeliner color it's called like it's called loaded by urban decay and it's like i'm gonna i'm gonna smudge this out but like it's i don't even know how to describe this like what color is this it's like a gray charcoal green like i don't know it just looks really good with the brown like not being just like black tonight is bachelor night have you guys been watching that like i don't know if anyone really is watching it it kind of sucks but i will say that he is very odd <laughs> Um, I don't think he's attractive personally, but I do appreciate how he speaks his mind. Like he literally just tells girls like it is like every other bachelor I feel like has just been so afraid to like hurt anyone's feelings. Not that like a guy should like purposely hurt someone's feelings. That's not what I mean, but I do appreciate like he is just a straight shooter. Like if the, like one of the girls is like begging him, oh my gosh, I just stab myself in the eye with that. Mm. I just appreciate the no BS like aspect to him and like how he communicates. It's just very direct. And I feel like that's been missing on The Bachelor for a very long time. It's just been a lot of ass kissing and like, I'm gonna make you feel validated. I'm gonna make you feel validated. And like, you know, I don't know. It's just, I'm glad that, uh, that someone came on there to actually tell people like it is and keep it real and like not keep people around that they're not interested in. So I appreciate that. So tonight I think I'm gonna get some rolled tacos. I haven't had rolled tacos in a while. I used, to, like when I was pregnant, I would get them every single Monday night and, oh my gosh. I would get them every single Monday night. Sorry, the gardeners are here today. so far. So we're going to do something about this. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but my foundation is way darker than my chest. It oxidized after I put it on. I've only worn this foundation like once before, if that. So it's brand new. So it oxidized. And now I have a super tan face. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do like a simple little like bend curl in here. And we're gonna go. I don't think we're gonna take the Bronco today. We're gonna check it out and see how it is. And if it looks like a good spot to bring the Bronco. We'll bring it next time. Look at you. Or a white bow or a pink bow. I think that one's really cute. You got some big old ears like your daddy. You look adorable. I think these Turn colors will go better against the black and tan. Yeah. And the white. You look so cute. Yeah, Nordstrom's rack is always good. Macy's, if they have like the backstage. 
Huh. That has big deals. Backstage. Macy's backstage. Alright, heard of it. I've had this stuff for like 10 years and this has always been my go-to if my face isn't matching my body and I don't have time to redo my face makeup. So, let's go in the other bathroom in a second. I put some lotion on her legs this morning too. She felt dry. Okay. Let's see. Let me get you guys up for this part. <laughs> if you see a nipple, this is not my problem. I'm gonna use, I love how on the camera it doesn't look, well, from what I'm seeing in my viewfinder, it doesn't look like it's actually a different color. And if I put this on, it's gonna get on my white dress. So that kind of sucks. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna actually put tanner. I think it's less likely to come off on my dress, but if I do ruin my dress, it's a good excuse to go buy another one, even though I don't wanna spend the money on another dress right now. This stuff actually comes out dark. Okay, so let's just put a little bit of that on. This is gonna take a while to develop though, so maybe I don't think you can tell on this camera how much darker my face is. Maybe you can, but like from what I'm seeing, my um, little monitor thing, whatever, I'll just have to fix it in Photoshop. Here's the finished little outfit. I'm gonna put my lipstick on when we get there since we have like a 45 minute drive, but my tits look really good in this dress. Um, you did not say that. I, no, I was thinking the same thing. Oh, <laughs> you haven't even looked. But this is the dress, super cute. Um, you've got Nick's butt crack in the background. <laughs> I'm gonna put some lipstick on in the car, but we're gonna head out. And you might be wondering who's gonna take our pictures today. Um, Harlow's nanny is actually gonna be taking our pictures, Laura. She is freaking awesome. She took some pictures for us the other day. And she is an awesome photographer. So she's nice enough to go with us and snap some photos for us. All right, you ready? Like so torn to shit. Look at these. Only this one though. Look at this one. How yeah, what are you doing to that one sandal? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just favor my right foot and it just gets tore up. So my dumbass forgot a memory card for the big camera, so I'm gonna have to use the one in the vlog camera, and I'm really hoping that it is Big, a big enough card for 4K photos. All right, so here's the spot. One of the photos that I was planning on taking here, I'm not gonna be able to take here because it's just right next to the road. It involved a little less clothing than I currently have on. So I'm gonna figure out, I'm gonna take my big camera and take a look here and kind of figure out like the best angle. It is pretty chilly right now. So we need to make this fast. In a minute here, I'm gonna also have to take the card out of my vlog camera, unfortunately, and put it into this camera since I didn't bring an extra one, like a total doofus. Oh no, I think the flowers are closing up because it's the end of the day. All right, here it is. It's so super cute. These are kind of closing up though because it's the end of the day, but this is so pretty. All right, so the road's over there, so I think we'll shoot like this way. Yeah. 